Uh, the city or the Board of Education didn't know what they, what they were doing, or in one case in the Witchwood Barns, they, uh, the TTC. And, um, you know, so it was already a public asset, and uh, it cost money to renovate those places. And um, um, I'm not exactly sure where they got all that money, but um, they've certainly been a, a model. Incidentally, it's now being copied around the world, and uh, Tim and Jones is going all over the world talking about this stuff. He's an interesting guy. But, you know, essentially what we're talking about, what you're talking about, is two systems of providing housing. In one system, housing is a commodity. It has become a commodity in our society. When governments brought in cooperative housing and subsidized housing, that's the only alternative that I know of that's actually worked. So we have to get the government to get back into the business of building co-ops. And if, if uh, interest rates are low, why aren't we financing cooperative housing? Well, somebody else had come. Thank you. That's a very, very good uh, good I comment. vote for the right folks. They never seem yeah. to win. Yeah. I, I want to get, get off housing and on to something else. You made some interesting comments about communities and uh, talked about the housing on the avenues and the streets that yeah. support communities. Um, in your book, you talk about other ideas about um, strengthening communities. Yes. I am, I am a very strong believer. I better use the mic. And, and Sorry, we, we don't all live on, 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 on the island. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I am a very strong believer in in uh, community because I've seen I've seen what communities can do, you know, to pull things together and uh, you know, uh, like a lot of people, I've been pretty distressed by what's going on in, in the city of Toronto. And uh, you know, I can I'm nobody employs me. I employ myself, so I get my own. You know the. Um, you know, the progressive voices have been in, this once was one of the most progressive cities in North America, and it's, um, we've just got to get back, you know, this has got to become a more activist government, but the only people that can make that happen are people at the grassroots. It's got to be driven by people at the grassroots. And, um, you know, I've, I've been involved in lots of things in, in on, in Toronto uh, Island, you know, I've been involved in the in the uh, fight against the island airport expansion, and I know the power of the of a community. It's very very important, and it's something it's something that every politician is listening for. And I, what's one of the things distressing is to see that you know, especially in the suburbs, you know, there are not enough there's not enough community involvement. They're only interested in driving their cars and high taxes, and you know, we've got to get out of that. It's just not working. Yeah, down to the back, yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to bring support. You know, most of our neighborhoods have these associations. Neighborhood associations, most of the neighborhoods in Toronto. And if you're really interested, you know, it's a tremendous thing to take part in. It makes the politicians a lot more directly responsible for their for their decisions. Uh, it gives you a good voice. You get together and help uh, plan and design your neighborhood, uh, what's going on in your neighborhood. Even small things like traffic, it affects. We have to have a good voice and join your own neighborhood association and take part. And it's an easy thing to do. You don't have that many meetings. It's well with it. You're absolutely right. Toronto has gotten a lot of very, very strong, very strong neighborhood associations. And that's why people, way down in the back, yes. The Toronto, Toronto Island Airport, you want my opinion? Yeah. No, no, the date. No, the, next, the date of the next event. When it comes back to council. When it comes back to council? Okay. In next September. No. No? No. Uh, uh, yeah, for, for those people that are interested, it'll be uh, clearly one of the important events when it comes back to council, if it comes back to council. I say if because they're they're uh, 
both the federal liberals and the federal NDP have said that uh, they will not open the tripartite agreement, and that will, that will kill the JET proposal. We're just talking about the JET proposal, okay? If it comes back, you know, the, the Toronto Port Authority now is doing um, what they're calling an environmental assessment, um, and that's going to go on probably for another eight, nine months before I would ever, ever see the light of day at City Council. If it comes to City Council, it's going to be as big or bigger an issue than the, uh, the Gardner Expressway take down. I gotta come in because I'm.